As the sun rises over southern Ontario, Harry and I gear up for another adventure on our bicycles. Leaving the outskirts of St. Thomas behind, we pedal through the early morning mist, surrounded by gently rolling hills and golden fields. The landscape slowly transforms, giving way to dense forests and babbling brooks as we make our way to the Archie Coulter Conservation Area. Here we take a brief respite before I ventured off in search of a footbridge I had spotted on the map. On the road again, we arrive in the town of Elmer. We take a brief pause to replenish our energy stores and enjoy the town's picturesque paths weaving along parks and streams. Though our timing is a little off as we encounter some snow and puddles on the path. After many hours of cycling, our efforts are rewarded as we arrive at Port Burwell Provincial Park, our next rest stop. Though the park is closed for the season, a small parking lot outside the gates permits visitors to walk in. As I walked over the dunes, the wind blew hard against my face and waves pounded the sandy beach. Stark white sand stretched out before me, dotted with golden beach grasses and small trees. Despite the lack of snow, the wind was bitterly cold, and I huddled deeper into my jacket as I pressed on towards Lake Erie. At the water's edge, the waves pummeled the shore with a wild intensity, and I stood there a moment taking in the scene before me. There was no one else around, and I felt like I had the whole world to myself. From there, we explored the village of Port Burwell, strolled along the beach and breakwater, and watched seagulls patrolling the beach. Our journey then takes us northward, through farms and woodlands, until we reach the outskirts of Tilsonburg, where our journey will continue to unfold next week.
If you like this video, please show your support to our channel by clicking the thumbs up button. And by pressing the subscribe button located just below the video, you can access a list of all of our videos and help the YouTube algorithm suggest our videos to more people worldwide. For us, cycling brings about a unique feeling of freedom and connection with the world that can't be replicated through any other means. Thanks for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you next time.